For an iconic doll, Barbie turns 60 tomorrow. Liz McLaughlin takes a look at how a tiny doll can have a big influence on pop culture. My Barbie doll. Barbie made her debut in 1959. Barbie. And she's still a cover girl at 60. Her legacy highlighted in Pop Insider magazine. She's a huge influence on society, pop culture in general. Hi, Bobby. You may remember Aqua's song, Barbie Girl. And she's made appearances on The Simpsons, The Tonight Show, and SNL. We take the Barbie brand very seriously here. She's had more than 200 careers, sometimes pushing boundaries for women. She bought her own dream house before women could even open their own bank accounts. Barbie has donned a number of different looks over the past six decades, but drawn criticism because of her lack of diversity. Only in recent years has Mattel started to add more hair textures, skin tones, and body types. Hulu's documentary Tiny Shoulders Rethinking Barbie explored some of these changes and how a doll can be so much more than a toy, spurring conversations about feminism and girls' self-esteem. To put that all on the tiny plastic shoulders of uh, a doll is quite a burden. But Mattel says Barbie's meeting the challenge as the most diverse doll line on the market. New this year, we have dolls that reflect uh, permanent disabilities. So for the first time ever, Barbie is in a wheelchair and she also has a prosthetic leg. A new collection of role model Barbies is also on the way, based on real women with inspiring stories. Barbie really truly has been a canvas and continues to uh, reflect society and the culture that people see around them. A plastic doll and American icon. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. The 60th anniversary collection highlights six dolls from different decades with careers where women are still underrepresented or underrepresented, but Mattel is working to change that. This week, one dollar from every Barbie sold will go to the Dream Gap Fund, which supports organizations that work to the level the playing field for girls.